Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Let's dive right to the today videos. So today the topic is all about key roles and responsibilities of an MEP QAQC engineer. So basically what what is the roles and responsibility of MEP QAQC engineer in the project? That is we are going to understand here today. So without wasting time, let's dive in. So ensuring the design compliance, the review shop drawings, verify compliance, clash detection. So what is the review shop drawings? Basically, when the drawing got approved or before approving or before submitting your consultant for review and approval, you also need to check the drawing, how the route is going to be happen at site. If you find some clashes or any things you can review and inform to the concern team for any changes or you need some section in the drawing you need to ensure okay how the cable tray or the duct or the chill water pipes is going to the site so in in that section you can review the shop drawings so you can get to know the proper route of that MEP QQC engineer the next one is the verifying compliance. Okay, during the installation, as a MEP QQC engineer, you need to ensure that all MEP system comply with the building codes, safety regulation, local standards, and industry standard. How you can identify? You need to review your the project specification. The material submittals, material codes. From there, you got to know what are the things, what are the codes for the for that system. Next one is the class detection. Basically, there is a you uh, beam software is there, but you don't beam me itna jaane ki zarurat nahi hai. If you know the AutoCAD, that is simple. Okay, beam me kya hota hai? Aapko ye har ek ek cheez 3D view me dikhta hai, so you can check very clearly. To find any detection like clashes. So beam software is advanced software. Hai. But okay, if you have access for that beam software, that is well or good. If you don't have, that is uh, not the big issue. You can still have the AutoCAD knowledge, something from there you got to know. The you can check the drawing easily. So the next one is next one is on-site inspection and QAQ. So basically, as you know, once you check the installation, once you ensure that, okay, they are following the approved drawing, the team's project team and the construction team, they always are following the shop drawing, approved shop drawing, material submit, materials approved, everything they are using. So during that installation, you want to ensure that, okay, how the people are doing. So you need to go as a regular inspection to ensure that all the HVAC system, electrical system, plumbing system, they are following correctly as per the approved drawings. And in that, you know, regular inspection, you may found any deviation from the plan. So you can also address this one to the concerned team. So that is the power of visual inspection. So every QAQC engineer must go to the site as a regular basis to ensure the work has been following as per the project specification, local standard, international standard, and the client requirement. The next one is the functional testing. Once you finish the installation inspection, the next procedure is like pressure test for the, the plumbing system, for the chill water system, and uh, like elect for electrical, they have testing of the wire, mega test, many things are there. So once the installation got approved, the next procedure is you need to ensure the testing has been done at site correctly and also get the approval. So once you fin once you satisfy with the internal inspection, you can go with the consultant inspection. So the next one is installation compliance. Verify the systems are installed correctly and it's basic. As I told you, once installation is done, you need to ensure everything is done correctly and following the approved drawings. Then you can go for the 
consultant inspection and the client inspection for further approval next one effective coordination and communication so basically as a qqc engineer you should have this quality for coordination and the communication why need coordination because you need to ensure what the team are doing as site you have to be coordinated with them are they are following drawings are they are following approved materials are they are checking the site correctly everything should be a good coordination unless you will become the failure in that project so the, the good coordination is as a part of success and the good communication communication is the is a must needed as a skills for the QQC engineer because you once you are being the side you should have that communication skill to to deal the people from lower level to high level but because as a QAQC engineer you must report to your management you must get the information for the lower people like foreman labor skills non-skilled people engineers so that's why a communication if there is a lack of communication you will be failure in that project so a good communication between your team will lead you in the successful in the project so this is top most important things next documentation and compliance reporting once you are doing inspection once you are doing testing commissioning once you are doing everything that has to be recorded right so the recording how you will record you will make your own track inspection so that you will know okay which inspection you have submitted on which date and what are the comments get from the client or consultant that will you will be recording in your logs so that is the track inspection what is punch list management basically a punch list management when you are you're going outside like in the store you can identify the what are the uh, materials related to the projects if there is a deviation so you can put that in other direction or in other area and you can punch the 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 list of that materials which is defective and which are not belongs to that project so whenever the management or whoever come outside so they can know okay this uh, this material is not for your not for the project this is the uh, defective and this wish to go to the the repairing so from there it will be easy for the people you know he can identify the things very easily and it will not get them delay to to go further next one is the regulatory compliance ensuring adherence to the local standards and code as i told you earlier you need to be ensure the standards to be followed at site because this is top requirement at site so the quality of a standard is must required so you need to ensure the all the teams they are following the local and standards in order to get the success in the project next one is yeah this is a key takeaway which we all know we we check we we got we 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 got to know that so okay there is a design compliance we need to do site inspection you have to do coordination also need to require documentation is also required in order to get the success in your field so these are the uh, takeaways for today's topics the next one is tools what tools you should have you should have the measurement tape you should have the gauge reports you should have the you know as electrical engineer you should have this mega mega machine so you can know okay what are the tests they are doing how the, the values are coming everything you should have once you are in the site boost your project success how you can boost your project as success you need to apply that last four the which the lot take with you need to apply here to get the success in the project and you need to uh, subscribe uh, subscribe the MEP QAQC channel this channel because this channel will give you a proper tips and industry knowledge which you can apply in the projects there is no channel in the YouTube which will give you the perfect knowledge about the MEP QAQC engineer because there is no people who are making they are making all mix and matches so this project text channel is very dedicated and also dedicated to the people who are working in the MEP QAQC engineer and they want to build their career in the QAQC engineer so this to get updated you need to subscribe my channel that is and you need to keep 
pushing yourself to learn and learn how you can learn you can learn from the current projects so you can apply in the future projects you need to be ensure what are the things what are the um, things mistaken have been in that your current project so from there you can learn and apply in your upcoming projects you need to make your records logs for quick learning so that will lead you and give you the methodology how you can apply and you know that will lead you to the end success and boost your project thank you very much guys uh, for watching this video and i hope you like this uh, video and i hope you learn a lot from the video